friends welcome to ahilu watch channel this is uma in this video i am going to tell you how to make this beautiful cowl okay this one i have made it with normal four ply yarn but with two strands of yarn and a 10 mm hook to make this um, bulged structure and uh, you see it's a just a simple pattern all i have used is only half double crochet and a double crochet and we can make this you can do this as a long scarf and you can have it as a scarf also but you can have it as a cowl because it's a thick shawl and you can attach two buttons in here and have it as a cowl like this you got it so simple as i said um, this is a simple pattern and we don't have to um, know all the complex stitches we are going to repeat just the same set of uh, uh, nine rows again and again five rows of double crochet and five rows of half double crochet so let's start doing this you see the texture of uh, this cowl and it it actually gives us a 3d effect you can either use the two strands of four ply yarn as I have used for this or you can use the six ply super bulky yarn uh, if you have it okay so I'm just going to do, um, give you the normal uh, instructions with the normal four ply yarn you can either have it in the um, two strands or you can have it as uh, with the super bulky yarn okay so we need multiples of three plus two stitches okay so if we have if we want to have multiples of three plus two stitches we have to have multiples of three chains right because uh, we have one we need one chain for doing the foundation row so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. See, you can have any number of chains with the multiples of 3 as long as, um, as big as you want the scarf. You can have it as a, instead of a cowl, you can have it as a, a rectangular scarf shawl with a big uh, 40, 50 chains. Okay. So I have done 21 chains, which is a multiple of 3, so that I have multiples of 3 plus 2 stitches which is 20 okay so first to do a one row of half double crochet we all know we will be crocheting only in the back bump of the chain not the front or back loop you see we are not crocheting in the front or back loop we are only doing in the back bump by turning the chain so do it half double crochet will be as stiff as single crochet but it will be not as big as a double crochet so it is a perfect um, stitch to have in the border I have done 20 half double crochets you see since we have crochet only in the back bump we see the V finishing on the other side of the chain too 
now what we are going to do is chain 3 this will be our first double crochet turn your work we have first double crochet for the first stitch skip the second stitch and in the third stitch do a V stitch V stitch is nothing but double crochet chain 1 and double crochet if you see we have skipped one stitch and in the third stitch we have done the V stitch let me zoom in a little bit okay okay so we have one double crochet for the first stitch second stitch we have skipped and in the third stitch one two three stitches are there so what we are going to do we have skipped one stitch in the uh, one stitch before this V stitch and we have to skip one stitch after the V stitch okay for this V stitch again we are going to do the V stitch so we have to skip two stitches for one for this one one for this V stitch and one for the next V stitch so if you do skip two stitches and do one chain one and one double crochet so if you see here this side we have only one stitch so that's why we have skipped only one stitch this side we have one stitch and another stitch that is why we have skipped two stitches so like this skip next is two stitches and do another V stitch V stitch is nothing but double crochet chain one double crochet okay so that is why since we are working on the third stitches we need multiples of three and we have to have the border stitch right double crochet in the starting and in the ending that is why we need multiples of three plus two okay so do the last V stitch and we have two stitches one to skip and the last one to have a double crochet you see since I had 20 stitches I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 V stitch because 18 is a multiple of uh, 6 times 3 right now we are going to repeat the same row same row again for 5 um, total of 5 times which is 4 more times we are going to continue so chain 3 that will be our first double crochet turn your work in the V stitch do a in the V stitch do a V stitch so now we are skipping only one stitches and in the next stitch we are skipping two stitches we are skipping this one and this one and in the chain one we are doing V stitch this way we are maintaining the number of stitches till the end there is no increase or decrease anywhere okay and V stitch you don't have to think or count or use a stitch mark anywhere to uh, do this cowl it's as simple as that any beginner can do this as long as you know the basic stitches half double crochet and double crochet now again skip this double crochet and in the top chain of chain 3 do a double crochet always do the in this border stitch whatever stitches you are doing on the chain 3 always use two strands the total V because we don't want the unnecessary gap in this okay doing the stitch in the two strands will actually help the project to have a better finishing okay now again chain 3 turn your work V stitch and V stitches in all the V stitches you can see the difference between 
using a single strand and double strand you see the same here here also I have used only 20 stitches but you see the size difference and the hook difference I have used two strands and I have used the 10 mm hook so that is why the size is this much okay so it will be warm and cozy at the same time it won't be suffocating us because it have plenty of ventilations right so now in the last stitch do a double crochet now one two three turn your work and the V stitch you don't have to do five rounds or five rows of V stitch as I do it's totally up to you how big you want to have the um, V stitch and how big you want to have the half double crochets you see I have done you see here the V stitch is bigger than my half double crochet that is what I was going to okay the five rows of half double crochet V stitches is bigger than the four rows of um, half double crochet I have done that is what the look I was going to so that is why I have done five and four you can either do four and three or you can do even six and five anything you want to have okay as long as the number of half double crochet is less than a uh, number of half double crochet rows is less than number of V stitch rows so that we will have the perfect look and feel of the cow okay and in the last V stitch and in the last stitch always do see if you do only the double crochet with one strand you see how big the gap is it is not good for the project for long life of the project so always do on both these strands so that we don't have much gap okay I have done four rows one more row I will do with V stitch half double crochet chain one half double crochet half double crochet chain one half double crochet I'm sorry <laughs> double crochet chain one double crochet I'm sorry what has gotten into me <laughs> double crochet chain one double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet and finally in the top chain of chain three the last double crochet you see this is a simple V stitch row we have done one two three four five now what we are going to do chain one turn your work do half double crochet in each stitch and in each chain one okay one thing to note here is don't do the um, half double crochet in the chain one gap it won't look good you see here after each stitch I have not done the um, half double crochet in the gap I have done only on the first two loops the V stitch of V of the chain one because if you see here I have done in the gap now I will show you the difference how it looks now take the only the first bar top front and back loops of the chain 
and do the half double crochet so now you can see the difference on how it looks it looks more professional than this one okay so always do the half double crochet in the front and back loops of the chain ignoring the bottom bump okay meaning we are not doing the half double crochet on the space but on the chain that is the difference okay now how many half double crochets we will have now will always have 20 half double crochet or how many other chains you have started with this half double crochet stitches will should be equal to the first beginning half double crochet stitches what we have done okay always take the front and back loops of the chain and do the stitch now And in the last chain don't forget the last chain that will be our 20th stitch and without that we won't be having any border stitch okay so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay now chain 1 turn your work you will see three loops here three V's two V's here you will see one V on the top one V on the side in order to have this ridge structure you see this ridge structure we will work only on the back loop of half double crochet so that this V will form the ridge for us so see look at the top not on the side look at the top and do the half double crochet in the back loop only okay since we are using only the back loop the front loop and the side loop will form the ridge for us okay do one half double crochet in all the stitches only in the back loop again do see the top not on the side if you do the side on the back loop it will become the front loop of the half double crochet so always look at the top view and do in the back loop so again in this row we are not skipping any stitches and we are not doing any increase also so we will be having 20 stitches all together And in the last stitch another half double crochet okay now we have to continue the same two more times totally four rows of half double crochet if you are having five rounds five rows of V stitch you have to have four rows of half double crochet okay chain one turn your work again we have to have the ridge so do the half double crochet only in the back loop right okay. 
if you feel like um, three rows of half double crochet is enough that's okay that's up to you but always make sure the half double crochet row is less than the number of V stitch rows okay you see I am doing the half double crochet only in the back loop so I am having the ridge in the front so if you see here we I have the ridge in this side and the previous ridge on the other side so both sides will look identical the same way we are working the V stitch front and back right so one side will be the right side and one side will be the wrong side for each row so that both sides will be identical so there will be no right or wrong side in this scarf or cowl or whatever you are making and the last stitch to a half double crochet one more row of half double crochet we need to do and also only in the back loop okay the last row is done right so we have one set one set consists of nine rows five rows of half double crochet sorry five rows of V stitch and four rows of half double crochet you see the ridges on the alternate sides now chain 3 that will be our first double crochet turn your work we are starting the next set of 9 rows so we are starting the V stitch so skip the first stitch because we have already the double crochet which is chain 3 skip the second stitch and in the third stitch do a V stitch and in every third stitch do a V stitch so we are repeating the same V stitch row again and make sure you have 20 stitches after every half double crochet so that you won't be having any um, missing stitch in the V stitch row so chain skip two stitches and in the third stitch do a V stitch and we have two stitch remaining skip one stitch and in the last stitch take both loops and do a double crochet you see here this is how we are going to continue till the end approximately 50 inches at least okay if you are a, if you want to have a scarf you have to do at least 60 inches if you are having only the cowl just like me you want to have 
at least 50 inches you see this is how it will look like if you use 10 mm hook and a bulky yarn or two strands of four ply yarn okay let me zoom out see the bulging the ridge everything will make a superb 3d look and feel you will use okay so i hope you like this video i hope you try this pattern this is a very simple pattern you can make um long scarf and you can um you'll you'll gift it to yourself it will be a wonderful feeling so please try this out um, suggest your comments in the comment section um if you want to do anything else please share it uh, share the pictures with us and we can do it um, together and most importantly subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video um, share it with your friends and help us to make the channel act keep the channel active and alive uh, it really helps us a lot thank you so much bye